once saved always say come on and help me it literally means that can't nobody take your salvation away from you the reason we rejoice about salvation is because they can take everything else but they cannot take salvation they can take money they can take houses they can take land they can take property they can even take my sanity but they can't get my salvation I need somebody in here who read the words of Jesus Jesus said those who are in my hand nobody can pluck them out and I need some folk who've been secured and saved by the blood of Jesus to help me close this message and begin to testify. I'm so glad I'm saved. I've made some mistakes, but I'm saved. I've done the wrong thing more times than I want anybody to know about, but I'm still saved. I've been a prodigal son or daughter every now and then, but I'm still saved. I did some things I told the Lord I'd never do again, but I'm still saved. I've done some things that I don't want anybody on my road to know about, but I'm still saved. As a matter of fact, since I've been saved, I made some silly mistakes, but I'm still saved. And somebody in here who is grateful for your salvation ought to throw up your holy hands and thank God that he secured you one Friday afternoon on a hill called Calvary. He sent his one and only son Jesus to die in your place. And if there's anybody who still gets excited about Jesus, I need you to help me close this message and say when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, I greatly delight. My soul cries hallelujah. I want to thank God for saving me. I need some saved folk in the balcony to represent with those people you're sitting up there with. I need some saved folk on the first floor to go ahead and commit yourself to testifying about God's salvation. I need two or three preachers who aren't ashamed to testify about salvation. Is there a choir member sitting behind me who will tell the world I'm saved? And can't nobody do a thing about it. Life now is sweet. And my joy is complete. Because I'm saved. I said I'm saved. And every time you think about it. You ought to wake up in the morning happy. That salvation belongs to you. Somebody in here. Ought to open up your mouth. And begin to rejoice. That God said. He was going to send his son. And he did God said his son was going to die and he did God said he raised him up again and he did all I'm trying to tell you is that he did just what he said so go on home tonight sleep real well if he said he's going to fight your battles he'll do what he said if he said he's going to protect your family he'll do what he said if he said he'll supply your need he'll do what he said if he said he'll bless your generations after generations down to your descendants he'll do just what he said I need, I need I need, I need somebody to help me close this little message. I done got happy now, all down in my inner man. Cause I'm thinking about the fact that every promise my God makes, he will keep. He will make my enemies my footstool. He will give me strength to fight every title. He will give me victory over my enemies. So I I feel like giving God glory because he always does exactly what he said he was going to do. Is there anybody who will help me rejoice on a Sunday morning that every time I turn around, he keeps on doing what he said he was going to do. Is there anybody in this church who will help me celebrate a faithful God morning by morning new mercies we see is there anybody who is grateful he's faithful to a thousand generations won't he make a way for you won't he open doors for you won't he supply all of your need according 